So, uh, Mrs. Gregory, can you tell me how you you got into this fight? Share with us real quick. I was a product of the industrial medical complex, and at the age of 38 years old, I was very sick. And I started opting out, and I started studying Ayurvedic medicine, and I rebuilt my system. And when I had my first and only child, because they, I was told that I had unexplained infertility, I had my first and only child at 45 years old, and I decided to make different choices for him that would keep him healthy. And the first component was studying vaccines, and I was appalled at what I learned. So I have managed to protect him, and he is completely healthy and thriving during his childhood, which is when I was completely ill and sick all the time as a child. So that was the beginning. And now I have the momstreetjournal.com, which is my online blog. I've been writing about vaccine injury for eight years and other health issues. It's the business of being a natural mom in the modern world. So go there and subscribe. It's, it's free. And there's a whole treasure trove of information up there for other moms and dads and people in general that want to live a healthy life. That's great. Your story, that's amazing. Your story is uh, very similar to mine, interestingly. I, as a child, was not healthy, mm. had uh, intolerances, or at least I thought they were uh, in my early 20s to uh, cheese and dairy. Right. Um, and then I ended up feel, you know, being basically pre-diabetic, over 200 pounds, but I was in the military and wow. asked them you know, to tell me what's wrong with me. I said, do all your tests, tell me what's wrong. And they tested my blood, they tested my urine, they uh, did. They ran scans on me, mm -hmm. any, everything they could do, mm -hmm. and they couldn't tell me. They said, you have protein in your urine. Uh, they said, we don't know why, uh, but we're gonna put you on this medication. And I asked, you know, when when do I get to come off the medication? And basically, mm -hmm. it, it's, you know, no, you're, you don't understand, like this is, you, you start here and then you end up taking more medication. Exactly, and you become, you become indoctrinated into a system that makes you dependent on the system itself and that is not health and that's not freedom. So I had the same experience and you know by the time I was 17 years old and was in the ER every nine months with an unexplained pain, every four months I was in, in the ER and at the time it was gallbladder pain but I didn't know it and after 10 years you know they never questioned my diet it was all about placebos and tranquilizers and so we all need to think for ourselves we all need to do the best we can to listen to our bodies and to hold our politicians accountable for the rights that they're threatening so thank you so much you have to go too I do. okay explain yeah no i have a son he's one year old now and has not been vaccinated has not um had any of the issues that i have so go to um Get Natural Baby Care by Dr. Lauren Fader. She was an incredible MD and homeopathist who's now dead. So wow. I can't believe um, she will guide you through that book in the most amazing ways. That was my Bible when my son was your son's age, and my son is not vaccinated. He's almost nine, and he's beautiful and amazing. So well, thank you so much for thank everything you you're so doing. Much. Thank you for talking Take with care. me. Take care. All right. And hopefully we'll get to talk again. Sounds great, Robert. Thank you. Be well. Right, thank Robert you. Winter, right? Robert thank Winters. Okay. Thank you, Robert. Thank you, sir. Yeah, thank right. you. Look forward to Mom it. Mom Street Journal. Mom Street Journal. All right, see you guys thank later. Thank you. Yeah. See you.